Okay. I'm going to show y'all how to do the most incredible mushrooms you've ever had in your life. So this is actually, uh, I'm going to show you how to toast mushrooms. Ready? Ready? All right. So I just have plain button mushrooms. And you can use the cremini, the baby bellows if you want to. These were on sale and I didn't like the way that the, the creminis looked. So I picked up just these plain little sliced button mushrooms. And you notice I've got, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of butter in here and I've let it melt down. And I'm putting these in a single layer. I've been doing them flat. I love, I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things ever. I will probably eat the entire batch by myself. But we're laying them in a single layer just flat, and I'm going to not touch them, okay? And then the only thing I'm adding to this skillet at this point is a handful of, of thyme sprigs, and that's just gonna go right over the top. Now, often when you're sauteing mushrooms or what have you, you go ahead and add salt and pepper at the beginning to help release the moisture from the mushroom. We're not doing that because we want golden brown. We're almost gonna develop um, a crust on these mushrooms. So we're not adding salt or pepper. We want to caramelize the exterior. So this takes a few minutes and it's a little fussy because you, you, know, you, you turn each mushroom. Uh, but the results are so incredible. It is well, well worth it. So give me a minute to let these start getting toasty. And when you see them, you will want to come through YouTube and eat them because they're that gorgeous. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Here we go. All right, I want to show you this. This is exactly what you want. All right, so single layer, about five minutes. And you see that? How it's gotten like a little crust on it? You just steam up the camera, baby. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so all you do at this point is flip them over to the other side. Now that they have gotten golden on that first side, this is when we can season with salt and pepper. And this is one of the nice things about using kosher salt is that it has a very clean flavor. It won't compete with this mushroom and thyme thing that's happening here. And that's why I said it's a little bit fussy because you turn them individually. But uh, we're doing kind of a Sunday supper theme today. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a little few extra minutes to make it special. You can see it's certainly far from difficult to do this. Um, Lance is holding the camera. Lance, say hi. Hey. And we were talking about how in the videos, some of what I need to talk about is what you don't do. Um, people that, that are new cooks have a tendency, oh no, I lost the time overboard, have a tendency to want to flip things over in the pan quite a, quite a lot. And most of the time, in order to develop the crust and to develop the flavors, you really want to, sorry about my shoulder, you really want to leave it alone, you know, because if it stays in contact with that nice hot pan for five minutes, you're gonna get this exceptional golden crust on there. And that is what you want. All right, so I gave it a sprinkle of kosher salt, good heavy pinch of pepper, and I'll show you what they look like when I've got all of them finished up. So I tasted off both sides. They're nice and golden on both sides. Let's see. You see that? Isn't that beautiful? And to serve them, let me tuck him in there so he looks pretty. To serve them, I just like to garnish with a little more fresh thyme. I don't do a whole lot of garnishing, but thyme is by far my favorite herb, so I love to, any excuse I can to throw it on something. So if I've helped you out at all, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, ask them in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer as fast as I can. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest. Me. Bless you. <laughs> and if you get a minute, hop on over to Patreon and check out my new fan page over there. It really help me out with these videos. All right, so now you know how to make toasted mushrooms. Oh, that is the best mushroom you've ever.